I'm most disappointed in is this is a big bank. Demanding answers from banking giant M&T. Many customers are still having problems weeks after the merger with People's United. Tonight, Connecticut's attorney general said help is on the way. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is here tonight to explain what is coming up next. Susan. Mark, the attorney general is not happy. He says M&T is a huge company and they should have been better prepared to handle this merger. The merger between M&T and People's United Bank took place Labor Day weekend, but there are still plenty of problems. M&T says they are fixing those problems, but Attorney General William Tong isn't satisfied. This is unacceptable, and I know that the bank knows this. Many customers can't access their bank accounts online, and that's made it difficult to pay bills. Some are even having trouble closing on a house. Karen Lee Leathers reached out to us, saying, Ugh, M&T login wouldn't accept my People's United password. Then it locked me. Good luck reaching a live person to talk to. M&T has offered to meet with the Attorney General. And in a statement, they say, M&T Bank has taken concrete steps to improve the customer service experience. They have added additional staff to their branches, activated digital upgrades, extended call hours, and have reduced wait times. We have been hearing from a lot of customers. Some have had no issues at all, but the vast majority have complaints. People's Bank was a big part of Connecticut's economy and a big employer. Tong wants M&T to have a point person, at least one or more people, to focus on answering his questions and those from customers. Number two is they've got to cut these wait times. They've got to put as much um, as many resources as they can into, into not forcing people to stay on the phone for hours and hours and then risk that that call gets dropped. Meeting between the Attorney General and M&T Bank. No date, however, has been set. M&T told us tonight they will not stop working until all customer issues are resolved. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.